Hi, my name is Tara Allen, and today I'd like to talk to you about healthy drinks, and particularly different types of teas like kombucha and green tea, also coconut um, beverages, apple cider vinegars, sparkling apple cider vinegars. I actually have a soda here and some aloe. So I'm just gonna go over teas first. I have them grouped here. So the first one I have here is a sparkling green tea. So a lot of times, and it has um, zero calories, so that it's unsweetened. But a lot of times people may be used to uh, carbonation or they kind of like that. So this is a nice refreshing drink that has a carbonation in it. Now, what is green tea good for? It is an antioxidant brain function. So this actually protects the brain from aging. Um, it is a powerhouse. Um, studies have shown that it can reduce your chances of breast cancer. It can uh, reduce other cancers as well. It fights against inflammation. So it's an anti-inflammatory tea. Um, has heart health um, properties and it also fights bad breath. So if you have something that has lemon in it, um, lemon fights bad breath and green tea fights bad breath. This also has mint in it as well. So that'll help with um, any kind of stomach or headache. So this is a nice green tea to drink. Um, let's see, yeah, good for heart health, anti-aging properties. Now the next one is a hibiscus tea and it is something that, um, it has a little bit of cane sugar in it. That's the last ingredient. So there is 40 calories in this entire bottle. So that's just something to look at. Um, now, this also has lemon, so again, helps with um, your skin. Now, what does hibiscus tea do? It's something that lowers your blood pressure. It's good for your heart. It's like a huge um, heart health, lowers blood fat in the cells. It also fights bacteria and helps with weight loss. So that's hibiscus tea, green tea. Now, this one is just an herbal tea and it also has ginger in it. So ginger is something that relieves cold and flu, helps with blood circulation, has tons of anti-inflammatory um, properties, detoxes, and it's good for digestion. So this is kind of a double dose here. You've got your ginger, but you also have rooibois tea in here. So what does rooibois tea do for you? Good for heart health. We're seeing a trend here. Um, it's good for diabetes management. Um, it helps have fewer wrinkles. So rooibois tea, going to reduce your wrinkles. <laughs> that might be important to some people. Uh, it also helps with weight management. Okay, so the next thing, all of these are kombucha teas. So kombucha, they're, um, it's something that naturally occurs with a good, healthy um, bacteria and yeast. And it also is a natural carbonated drink. So again, if you're used to, a lot of people that might wanna stop drinking beer, um, or alcohol, actually you can go to drinking kombucha. It does have a little bit of alcohol in it naturally, um, but it has kind of that a nice carbonation feel, um, helps you feel full. So this is kind of a next step. You want to reduce some things that are maybe unhealthy and exchange them for something that is healthy. Or if you're used to drinking sodas or pop, you might want to try a kombucha it's healthy for you. So what does it do for you? It improves your digestion. Um, it helps with diabetes management, again. Strengthens your immune system. It reduces blood pressure, fights cancer, helps rheumatism and gout. Um, hemorrhoids, nervousness. So if you're having any kind of um, anxiety, this can help with um, feeling nervous. Liver function and fights cancer. So this kombucha is something that does all of that. It is a fermented tea. You can make it at home. I have another video on how to make kombucha at home um, to save money. So if you really find yourself really liking it, you can go ahead and flavor your own at home and um, maybe spend a dollar making, it's about a dollar, dollar fifty if you make it at home, homemade. Um, and they keep producing scobies, which is that um, uh, bacteria and yeast. It's a colony of bacteria and yeast that's good for your gut. So this is a good gut health tea. All these teas are good. All right, our next group here is coconut beverages. So um, this group right here, this is coconut water. This is coconut water with mango. And this is one, it's just king coconut water, so just 100%. And this is a coconut turmeric ginger. So again, I found this at Trader Joe's. It's a non-dairy, creamy drink. Um, it has coconut cream, honey, ginger, turmeric, and it has that black pepper. Turmeric needs black pepper to get into your bloodstream. So what does turmeric and ginger do? Detox
detoxes the body, huge anti-inflammatory, um, relieves cold and flu, blood circulation, antioxidants, boosts your immune system, helps with weight loss, especially that ginger, um, and it helps aid in digestion. Now, what does the coconut water do? It's good for your heart health. Um, it fights diabetes, it prevents kidney stones, it um, helps with hydration and exercise recovery. So these are, these are something nice if you're going to be doing something strenuous, you might want to add that. Or even um, while you're working out, it has tons of uh, potassium and electrolytes, natural occurring electrolytes um, that might be good to aid in working out. All right, our next group, these right here are all apple cider vinegar group, uh, apple cider vinegar drinks. I just found that at my local grocery store. You can find these at almost every grocery store. These are um, Bragg's apple cider drinks. Now there are some that contain zero calories and some contain a little and some a lot. So I have one of each. So this great one has, oh, it has 20 calories. Um, let's see, it has stevia in it. The next one has cinnamon in it and it has 35 calories, but it has a, a couple, I believe it's either one or two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Boosts your energy levels, um, enhances your immune system, lowers your blood sugar, aids in heartburn prevention, improves your digestion, kills bacteria. So all these drinks here are gonna kill your bacteria, decrease cancer risk, reduces belly fat and bloating, so it's really nice even after a meal to help aid in that digestion. And it has anti-aging properties as well. So along with these teas here that have anti-aging, apple cider vinegar, anti-aging proper properties. Also, it gets rid of lactic acid in the body. So maybe you've had a strenuous exercise, you're feeling really sore, you drink some apple cider vinegar, it's gonna help get rid of that lactic acid naturally out of your body. Um, okay, so this one has cinnamon, and cinnamon is actually good for your brain. It lowers your blood um, sugar levels, helps with your memory, anti-inflammatory, heart health. So that one is really, really good. Now, these I found at Trader Joe's. These are sparkling apple cider vinegar drinks. One has strawberry and basil, one has cucumber and mint. I actually tricked somebody in my own family, in my family, because um, they were like, I'm not drinking apple cider vinegar at all. And I was cooking for them. They were just coming over like for a couple days. And I put this in a wine glass. Um, didn't tell them what it was. I'm like, oh, it's just a drink. And they were like, that is really good. What's in that? And I'm like, oh, strawberry basil. And then I did it the next day with the cucumber and mint. And they actually liked it. These are sparkling drinks. If you're like, I do not like vinegar. This was that Trader, Trader Joe's has these two. They are so good. Um, you can't even tell it's apple cider vinegar. And it has 30, 30 calories. And so just adding that mint and the basil and the strawberry just tastes so wonderful. And it, um, so yeah, I tricked one of my family members and they actually kind of liked it. You put in a nice wine glass, you got this refreshing, nice drink. Um, anyway, all right, the next thing I have here is, it's called Zevia. So this is a actually a strawberry, uh, pop or soda that I found it has zero calories and it actually is clear so um, a lot of I think all of Zevia it's a brand of um, colas pops and things like that so your root beer is going to be clear because it doesn't have that caramel color and the additive which is a poison it doesn't have that in here um, your cola is going to be clear because they didn't dye it to be brown so this is something that if you're drinking pops and you want to um, increase your, your health or you want to just start um, removing things that are unhealthy and adding something because um, you, you want that carbonation, you want that fizz, this is going to have zero calories and all it has here is carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavors. So that's that word natural. In another video I talk about food additives and one of the words I circle is artificial. Um, anything that says the word artificial, that's a, wor a trigger word. You're like, whoa, that's artificial. It's not good for my body. This one says natural. So natural flavors and stevia leaf extract. So that's how it's getting the sweetness. And that's why they call it Zevia. So that's just an option. They have all sorts of different flavors. All right, our last health drink here that, um, that I really like to take, this is organic aloe juice that I got at Trader Joe's. 
helps with hydration, it helps make your skin look really nice, it reduces any kind of skin issues, it can actually reduce the um, appearance of pimples or acne. Um, it has tons of antioxidants, so it's going to help with that anti-aging. Anti-inflammatory, so again, we want to fight against inflammation, inflammation causes disease, it causes pain. Um, has tons of vitamin C, and that's going to increase, uh, again, vitamin C is good for your skin health. Whew. All right, one last thing that I didn't mention is, um, I know I mentioned turmeric, how you need the black pepper, but I didn't talk about what black pepper does for the body. It is um, a benefit for the brain, it is an anti-inflammatory, it's a cancer fighter, and it improves blood sugar levels. So um, black pepper has also been known to boost your metabolism, increase it, um, to help with weight loss. So that's another thing that it's good for. So these are just some health drinks that maybe you want to try, incorporate into your diet, maybe exchange something that is unhealthy um, for something that is healthy. Maybe just try these different things or just, yeah, and say, oh, I want to know what that tastes like and maybe mix and match. So we've done some things where maybe my husband doesn't like something, we maybe mix it with something like a, a juice and maybe an unsweetened tea and it might taste better or adding some fresh lemon um, and maybe just, yeah. So enjoy, try something new and I thank you so much for watching.